Struggle Fam, it's Mia. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. So I got tagged uh, by Anita Lasha Budgets to do a community budget with me Q&A. And since I am doing some side hustle stuff right now, I thought I would take a minute and do a drive with me, chat with me while I answer some of these questions because I think that they're super fun. Okay, so the first question is, what made you start your budgeting and cash stuffing journey? Okay, so I've been watching uh, cash stuffing videos for a very, very long time. I think a couple years, actually. And I had started my budgeting journey way back when. And every time I saw someone stuffing their envelopes, you know, on YouTube, I felt like, oh my gosh, that's so inspirational. I really want to be a part of that. I want to do it. And I want to share my journey because at the time I was really needing that extra accountability it would give me to put myself on film and say okay this is what you did this is what you're doing and your subscribers are going to be helping to keep you accountable so that is what made me start my budgeting journey I just needed that extra um I needed that extra layer of accountability and I always wanted a YouTube channel too. I mean, almost everybody has a YouTube channel now. I thought it would be fun. Woo, it's getting hot, y'all. It's getting hot. Oregon has such fickle weather. It's cold, it's hot, it doesn't know what it's doing right now. Okay, anywho. So that's why I did that. Have you ever done your nails just to do a cash stuffing? Girl, yes, I have done my nails just for cash stuffing. Um, I don't, I can't really afford to get them done anymore. They're not done right now. So when you see them done in my videos, it's cause I do them myself. So <clears throat> if mama's feeling super motivated, mama will, will do that. But if mama's not feeling it and she just can't hang, then that's, it's just not gonna happen. So yes, I totally have done my nails just for a video. Have you ever messed up on your cash denominations? Oh yes, okay, so that happens to me pretty frequently and I like to leave that stuff in my videos to add that extra layer of realness and struggle because y'all know on our channel, the struggle is real. So yes, I absolutely have and sometimes I've got so frustrated with my mess up that I've just left the mess up in the budget and I didn't go back and fix it. <gasps> I know, I know, it's okay. We're, we're all human here, it's all good. Yes, I have. What is your favorite envelope to stuff? Oh, that is a good question, guys. Okay, so I think right now my favorite envelope to stuff is Boss Lady because I am a very creative person and I want to stuff that envelope so I can get a whole bunch of fun tools to be creative with and add to my Etsy shop because I'm really having fun with my Etsy shop. It is a form of therapy for me. I love working with paper, so the cash envelopes that I'm making right now on my Etsy shop are are all a little piece of me, and I really appreciate that. Speaking of my Etsy shop, it's linked down below in the description box for you. Shameless plug, I know, it's all good. Okay, what is your least favorite envelope to stuff? Oh God, car maintenance, okay? I know it's a thing, everybody has to have car maintenance, okay, I know. I just don't like stuffing it because it's one of those envelopes, I put 20 bucks in a week, sometimes between 20 and 30 a week. And I get it up to usually 500 or 800 bucks in about six months, seven months, and then usually it all goes as quickly as it came. Because between oil changes, air, air filter changes, cabin filter changes, tire rotations, brake checks, your 50,000 mile maintenance, it's all, it's all just, it's crazy. Okay, so car maintenance is my least favorite to stuff, y'all. Have you ever picked up extra hours or any side hustles to stuff more money? Yes, of course, yes. I've got several side hustles right now and I want to be able to stuff more and more money so you guys get more and more of a kick out of the videos, but also so I can work on my debt payoff journey. I have not shared a lot about my debt payoff journey on my YouTube channel because that's a very personal thing, like the amount of debt I carry for some reason is really, really weighs heavy on me. And I'm getting to a point where I'm more comfortable and I will be able to actually start doing budget with me's on my channel, which is a big deal. So next week or the week after, be on the lookout for a side hustle, budget with me and cash envelope stuff. Uh, what keeps you focused and motivated on your financial journey? Okay, so, that answer is twofold. 
The first honest answer, and this is coming from a mom, y'all. I have a, a seven-year-old and a five-year-old girl. I'm a single mama. Honestly, my first response to that question is progress. Seeing progress keeps me motivated. That is my honest answer. I like the cash envelope method because you're stuffing, so you get the gratification of holding the money. You're seeing it go into places where it needs to go. You get the gratification of pulling it out of an envelope when something happens and you don't have to swipe that debit card and reconcile an account later. You know, it's that is progress to me. It's also progress being able to save money, put it in the bank, you know, in a lump sum, like an emergency fund. Oh, I'm up to a thousand dollars. That's going back in that's in my emergency fund account. That's moving over. Um, or in my case, you know, once my girl's savings envelope hits five hundred, that's going in the bank, you know. So progress, seeing money move seeing the debt slowly decrease, seeing my motivation increase for more side hustles, more self-employed passive streams of income. That's huge for me right now. Uh, so overall, the cash envelope method is very inspiring for me. All right, what's my next question? Have you ever made a last minute run to buy a candle for your cash stopping video? Oh, ladies, you guys are crazy. Um, no, but I love candles. I have not used candles in my video yet because I don't like a lot of things in my space um, and I'm afraid that I would knock it over and light something on fire, guys, because the struggle is real here. This is real. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, I have a lovely pink candle I was thinking about burning, but I don't know. I have not. I have not done that yet. So um, no candles in my videos yet, but I'm not dogging on you ladies that have them. It's lovely. You guys got the nails going. You've got candles burning. It's a moment. You guys are creating this magical moment that is just like, Ooh, love it. Okay. Anyway, I think that that's it. So, um, part of this budget community tag is that I go ahead and tag a couple more, uh, budgeters on YouTube. So I'm going to tag intentional living. Kristen, tag your it girl. Okay. It's your turn. And Tempest, Tempest sweetheart, tag your it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this little drive with me and, but um, budget with me, no, we're not budgeting. Um, drive with me video. And I will see you guys in my next stuffing. Remember, you're amazing. Truly, have a great day. Bye guys. <laughs>